Okay, this is a Johnson CD11. Was having problems with intermittent no spark on the lower cylinder. So we're gonna take off the recoil starter. Take this off. I'm gonna take the flywheel nut off. I think it's missing the little uh, flywheel washer right there under the nut. But then to get the flywheel off, one way to do it is to wrap your hand or arm around the entire flywheel, lift the entire motor up by the flywheel, and then just gently tap the crankshaft, and hopefully that'll pull it off. Okay, it took a couple times, but got it off. A little hard to pull off because the magnet right there was right next to the coil. Now, when I was out on the water, I had already pulled both plugs and swapped them to verify it wasn't a spark plug issue. So the next thing we're going to do is test the coil. We want to be inside, connected to the where the spark plug connects in the wire. With a voltmeter, we're going to turn it to ohms, and we're going to test a couple points on this coil, this lower coil, to see what our reading is. Open loop, open loop, checking a couple different points here. No continuity. So I actually already fixed it, but what the problem was is you can check each spark plug connector with its corresponding coil to determine what the resistance is. And you're trying to check the resistance of the coil and anything under about, I think it's 5,000 ohms, like five kilo ohms should be good. So I already fixed it, but I've got this alligator clip on the connector and that goes to this coil. This is the lower spark plug coil. And we're just testing at these points here each one of these screws, the connector on this wire that comes out, and then also you can test this right here where the uh, wire comes out of the bottom of the coil. So with that on there, the alligator clip on the spark plug connector, we get just above 4,000 ohms. Anything, I've heard anything under five is supposed to be good. And so I'm testing this and it's good now because I already fixed it. What happened was, is when I was doing this, it would go all the way up to 200,000 ohms, all these other different readings go all over the place, real sporadic. So what I ended up doing was pulling the coil and testing these ground points with the little pin that goes into the spark plug wire. And I found it right at about 4.2 thousand or 4.2 kilo ohms. So I knew that the coil was good. I then put the spark plug wire back in the coil and was testing the connector down here and that's when I found all the variations in resistance. So then I took the wire out completely and was just testing the wire between right here where it connects to the coil and this connector and I was finding varying resistance or open loop. So I thought it had to have been somewhere in the spark plug wire. I cut off about a quarter inch up here where the spark plug wire goes into the coil just so I could get some fresh wire sticking out and reinserted that into this part of the coil. It just slides right in and there's a little copper pin or some type of pin that slides into the insulation contacting the wire inside the coil here. It might have helped to put a little bit of super glue or something on there, but it should be good. And then down here, I took the boot off. Once I took the boot off, I found that this connector only has one little sharp pin that's supposed to pierce the insulation and then go in and contact the coil or contact the wire inside the insulation. So what I ended up doing was cutting this off. So I trimmed a little bit of the spark plug wire here and then I also stripped some of the insulation off to leave a little bit of wire sticking out. I then 
pierce the insulation again with the same uh, spark plug connector and then use these wires to kind of twist up top here to ensure that there is a good constant connection at all times. And you can see, I'll see if I can show a uh, picture. I sort of cut apart the old one, the old wire where it was in before previously and you can kind of see where it was arcing between this spring-like connector and the wire because it's all black and appears to be fouled up. On the inside of the wire so I think that was the the final issue with the um, intermittent no spark other than that everything seems to be running Changed good it a little bit those wires that were sticking straight out i ended up opening up this coil a little bit coil spring and sticking them straight through so that way when you put this over the spark plug it'll have a really good uh good contact <laughs>